Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my sunflowers. Well, something old, it's old, I know, but I'm going to say it, TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. Yes, yes, yes. And you know what? We work all during the week just to get to the weekend. You know, we have plans. You know, some of us going to go out. Some of us going to be dating. Some of us going to have a smooch fest. Some of us just going to go out. And just Some of us just going to rest. You know, or someone's going to wash clothes, clean the house. Just, you know what you do. But anyway, I just wanted to say, well, we have arrived, right? Yeah. And I hope that your work day went great by the time you get this. All right. Now, I want to send a special thanks out to someone who has been a very, very dear friend of mine oh, for, for, for um, many years. And this particular person sent me and Baby Crone a beautiful, beautiful, um, what would you say, baby crown? Message. Message. And I want you to know it didn't go unnoticed. And I want you to know, thank you. And I want you to know, I love you always. Thank you for supporting us. Now, with that being said, I think that we, you know, um, somebody asked me to read on, um, what is it? To read on Janet Jackson. So, Janet Jackson? Yes. So, what we know about Janet Jackson? What you know? First off, I would like to say two things. Oh, please. One, could you flip over the devil card that's staring at us in the face? <laughs> Thank you. You want it? No. <laughs> you like, Hot the devil. Hot the devil. Yeah. <laughs> run, devil, run. <laughs> okay. Second off, I would like to say... Lady Crone looking exceptionally good today. Oh my God. How did I come on here and see, you know what? <laughs> Baby Crone, you know what I got to say about the, okay, let me go back. I'm acting like nothing different. I'm acting like I'm coming on here like this is where, because this is how I am every day. Well, you know, my hair is different, but I'm on every day I wear my natural hair. And there has been a couple of times I almost came on and I didn't have on my hair, but this is it. I'm growing out my locks again. I mean, I had very long locks and I had come to an end of a relationship. Oh my God, they was just dragging me. I just had to cut them all off. They were they were beautiful. They were like past my booty. They was extremely long. I couldn't sleep and I and and I didn't want to go clip clip, so I just cut them. So I've had like almost well, I have had over two years of growth right now. And so this is my natural hair, as you could see. I cut my front, but I'm going to be being me. I'm sick of that orange wig, okay? I try. I bought another wig. I did. It came the same color. I was just trying to match it with my own color. You see how off I was? Baby <laughs> <laughs> girl is laughing. I was off, but you can see the color I was trying to get. Mm -hmm. You know, I even did my ends. I even tried to bleach them to... And I was getting this bright, and I got two of them wigs, that those Halloween wigs. I mean, I've gotten a lot of compliments. I don't want to go back dark at all. And I just love red hair. I do. And this is it. Bear with me as we go through my growing. I hope you don't mind seeing me as I is. This was hard for me, baby cone. Thank you for reminding me that, <laughs> that I was on camera with no wig. Oh, I hope you like it. I like it. Do you really? Yes, baby Crone does love. This was very hard for me, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It's it's just vanity. Like, you know, I'm let me say this. It's just somebody out there may know what I'm going through. It's like when you wear a wig. I don't wear a wig in life. I only wear it when I'm doing the show. First, I started wearing it because it's like, okay, if somebody know me, they won't know who I am. So if they see me somewhere and cutting up, they wouldn't know. But then that's gone. And then it was just like my hair was going and putting this underneath of the wig was too much. It was hurting. And I was like, you know what? I cut my front because I thought, okay, if I cut the front, that'll make the wig fit. But the back is getting too long. So I had to... I had to, I had to go, uh, I had to go, I had to rough it. So now this is what you'll be seeing. I hope you, I hope you don't mind, but this is what I look like without, without the wig. Now I went on about that, right? 
Yes, you did. Okay, so now, now I got to get back in the space. Who's talking about? Because baby, comb remind me I didn't have on my wig. That's why. Okay. Now. Okay, so what do you know about Janet Jackson? Yes, let's see what you know I know about nothing her. about her. Oh, I do know this. Her, allegedly, because I don't know. You know, you hear so much stuff. You don't know what is true, what isn't. But from what I understand, that she has a little beef with um, Beyonce. Okay. I don't remember what the beef is. I don't know if it's about... It's about something. Can you find out what the beef is? See, I don't even I know. I would be surprised if it was about stealing her. Well, you know, be yeah, it could be. I don't know. It, she was saying something about Beyonce was supposed to show up and she didn't show up. Whatever, whatever. I, I don't know. But I know this. I know they can't take kindly to calling her the next Michael Jackson. Because I can't. Call her the next Donna Ross. Why she got to be a man? Right. Why it's got to be, why do we always got to topple somebody? Like, why can't Michael just be dead and in peace? You know, that's just like saying, ow, ow, I'm going to find somebody to take over James, James Brown, gone. He already claimed the throne. So just give it to Usher. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? But don't say that's the, that, you know, they you can't take legends. We need to stop it. I think we. I think a lot of times what we do, we we play each other against each other, and I think that we need to have more respect for the dead. Okay. You know, period, period. And no, she is not the next Michael Jackson. Let her be the next. I don't know the next somebody. Who name somebody? Don, Donna Summers, uh, some somebody that if but Michael Jackson, understandable. Michael Jackson, I think people say that because we have a lot of people your age that's twenty five. They didn't know Michael Jackson. You never went like you didn't know the Jackson Five when you knew Michael from when we came up. You knew the Jackson Five. And when Michael branched out, it was still the Jackson Five, but we just called him Michael Jackson. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, but Michael, he was just as, they, the brothers were just as big as the Beatles. So now you're saying, be honest, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I just wish we stop it. However, her song, Hold Em. Yes, Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em is doing very, very well. I said that it would. Maybe this will give her her Grammy. However, America is divided because you got a lot of country folks that don't want her over there. They don't. So be it as it may, but be honest. If it was us, we'd be the same way. Yes. Dude. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Would we not be? So I get it on both fronts. However, I stand here. Baby Crow, do you agree or disagree? I love the song. Yes, it was good. And the other song, um, the one that she put out. 16 Carriages. It's growing on me. I don't understand it, but it's growing on me. And so with that. That one was a bit, at least from the lyrics, said a little bit more introspective in her talking and reflecting about herself. It just sounded macabre to me. <laughs> That's 16 carriages. I don't know. It sounds dead. Like talking about dead carriages. I, it's not, but that's what it, because I haven't really looked at the lyrics to it or anything, but um, I like the hold down, you know, um, the cowboy, the, the two-stepper. I like that. I like it. And it is country and you can't, I don't know about her whole album. The second song, I don't know, but I know hold down is country and country folk you're gonna have to accept it because it is country and she is texas yeah she is now what we can say we can say she's texas and we you know what i'm not going to read on her right now i'm just going to chit chat and we're just going to chat and then i'm just going to go back and do this later because baby crone threw me off i have no feel into reading this right now. Okay. So I'm going to take about a 15 minutes and we just go and talk. Okay. One of the things that baby, oh, back to Beyonce is, um, I really liked it. You want to come on over baby crown? Yes. Give baby crown a second. Give baby crown a second. And, um, I'll just keep, I'll keep the fire burning. 
um, while Baby Kong going, I looked at a movie and I think it was called Priscilla. And I, I didn't know what to make out of it. You know, um, it was like looking at this tall, linky guy. I didn't know Elvis Presley was like seven feet tall. That's what the man looked like. And he's towering over Priscilla. I mean, Priscilla looked like she was 13 years old. She looked like a little girl, honestly. Um, I, it was, I, I waited to see it and I did, and I had mixed feelings about it. I had to rewatch it like four or five times to get to the end only because I didn't want to miss anything. And one of the things that has shown me in this movie is that Elvis Presley have one of them tempers where he just go off and throw things and have a tantrum if he doesn't, if you don't agree with them. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He seemed like a partier and, and, and drink. And, and this girl was young. She was in school and he's giving her drugs and see, it couldn't be in 2020, 2021, 22, 23, 24. He would be arrested. If Elvis was alive today, Elvis would be in jail. In jail. I said it, in jail. So anyway, hey, beautiful. Hey. Beautiful. Lovely. Leah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's fixing it for us. This is just off the cuff. I'm going to read on Janet. I am. I am. I think that, as you can see, it's here. No, I definitely cannot see You got to turn it around. In. You got to turn. Hey, there oh, we, we go. We zoomed in. Oh, okay. we were zoomed in. Okay. Yeah. okay. How was that? Now you could now we're gonna look far, far, far away. Hey beautiful. Lean oh. over. Hello. Lean over. Okay. Ooh, ooh. We just a pickle baby. There we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, and yes. take your your things and push them to the front. Your no, your, your, your jewel. Just move them over. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All righty. Now. Yes. So, was, baby, come. What you want to talk about? Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't want to hear what you was finished talking about Priscilla because honestly, I do believe that um, if Elvis Presley was alive today, he could not get away with dating somebody that young. He gave her a Open. drug. He gave her something, and it knocked her out for two days. The funniest thing about it is. She knows sometimes TV is just not real. Could you imagine the state she was in if you couldn't get her up in two days? Yes. Do you mean she was still pristine and clean? Oh, yeah, you're right. Think about it. Laying there with her makeup, two days. Two days. Because the bathroom. She, she came in. The, 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 the movie came in, and you could hear the woman. This is nobody called the doctor. Where were her parents? Well, she was staying with Elvis. They let her stay. The same thing that um, that uh, Usher fam mother did. This is what they did. They let her go and stay with Elvis. She loved him. She wanted to be with him. But this was, the, I mean, he was abusive. Oh. Mm. Well, anyway, what you want to talk about, baby crow? Want to okay. talk about the state of America? Yes, we can. All right, let's talk about this. something. We got a few more minutes. Let's just talk. You okay. start. Well, interestingly enough. Talk what you know. What I know, well, this is just, we're gonna just call this chattering. Yes, this ain't gonna. This is not gonna be a news recap. This is just gonna be we just being two chatterbox. Yes, you 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 ho you heard it from this street. We just over here chatting away. We just chatting yes. because baby cone. I'm for me the <laughs> first time you seeing me. Well, I did this one other time. Yeah. And then this. So, I mean, I'm more known now. So it's like, I might as well just come on out and show you who I am. This is it. So um, I would just like to talk about how this is very interesting that we're having this conversation today mm. about the state of America, because baby Chrome had a dream the other day. Yeah, you did. Which she was very, did. which gave me reminiscence of leave the world behind okay. in the same essence that okay. cell phone towers and Wi-Fi was down, but there was still, I'm going to lean over. Okay. okay. There's still electricity powering everything. And 
the emergency broadcast systems were coming on to let us <laughs> know that America's in the state of something at that time in my dream. And now I'm hearing in the news, <laughs> now I'm hearing in the news that recently Putin is talking about how he might start World War III with America with some nuclear weapons. But you know Putin always saying that. Yes, they do always say that, but it's just the sequence of events. First, we have leave the world behind, which is talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. what it would be like if America's attacked. And not only that, you got a lot of movies that yes, a lot apocalyptic, of but that was <laughs> the true. deep one. Right, that it like really the... hit home. It resonated with me. So yeah, I've did. been kind of on edge since I've seen, seen that. that movie. Yeah, Because yeah. it's like they, they have to tell us something before it happens. Most definitely. That is just the law of the universe. Yes, that is just universe. it. You got, you can't, nothing can happen spiritually or supernaturally that is going to affect the world that we wouldn't know. Yes. And um, or even if it's a country, like, do you think those people didn't know that they were going to be going to war? Even in the Ukraine mm -hmm. and even in what's the other place? Um, Palestine. Yes. Palestine. So even though you don't think they knew they knew a war was coming, they knew it, you, you, you get one. And I heard a story while she's looking this up, I heard that there were some people in Palestine running after a delivery truck because they um, they was hoping to have food because they stopped food from entering into Palestine. Mm -hmm. And so that really scared Baby Crow and me because it made us think about leave the world behind because that is one, I think that's the third stage. That's the collapse of a society when there is no food. Yes. But the thing is, I don't understand. I think the thing is, so when you when you don't give the food, that's hurting the other people. That's hurting the people that's not fighting. Like they're saying, cash in war, there's casualties. Okay, baby, come. So okay, sorry. You you did it. You you <laughs> it told the truth. Go ahead. You're right. It just sucks. You're right. But because I just want to feed them. Yeah. Go ahead. I give understand. them some water. Give them some Gatorade and some yeah. Gatorade and water. Or, Lemon juice and salt and water, just just food, bread, just mm. yes. But um, mm -hmm. speaking of per like being prepared for anything, I did hear recently we was over listening to someone. I actually think it was Candace Owens that have said that there was a a NATO official, which is like um. I forget what it's what NATO stands for, but it's like all the countries coming together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in like peacefulness and like giving warnings and things like that. Mm -hmm. And this, um, his name was Admiral Rob Buer, and he claimed that it is important. This was just a month ago. That it's important for Americans to prepare. What does it say? Who NATO, was this? So I'm um, somebody from NATO. It's like a nation not nationwide but you know what oh, i'm worldwide. sorry baby go finish finish baby. um it's mm -hmm. like a worldwide organization that heaps politics and all that and really they want peace in the world that's why they have this union mm -hmm. and nato has warned a month ago nato has warned that the west must set up preparations for the unexpected including a war with russia um as Moscow's full-scale invasion of ukraine is Increase because that's what Putin is saying. He is saying that if you don't stop, we're coming for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, America to me had this attitude uh, it can't happen to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, we, we're powerful, it can't happen to us. Well, I like to look at it this way no, it may not can happen to you because you could probably get out, but her and I. We can't go. Where are we going? Yeah. How much would we need? How much would we need to go to get a plane to set up in another country? Mm -hmm. How much? Where would we go? Exactly. Where would we go? I don't, I don't even know. That isn't. How much would we need? Like, I wouldn't even know. Like, how much would we need? Yeah decent amount even though and, and what would be i mean it's like I, I can't sell my house like that yeah that i can't so we can't sell our cars 
I can't sell my jewelry. It's what not can like I? People gonna buy stuff like that. Like, like that. No so how, how much money to me if I'm going to another country? And I'm going to go there to live mm -hmm. for me. I want at least a hundred grand. Okay, okay. At least that. If not that, 50. Okay. On a spare the moment, 25. Okay. Because you can go to some of these countries that is not yes. as expensive, mm -hmm. but I would go to an island. Okay. Fair enough. But I would but, but, like, it's scary. It is really scary. And, and, and then you, about it. yeah, and you're looking at all these movies mm -hmm. that's telling you this. Yes, telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you, and you're like, uh, at least be wise. Yes, at least order some of that dry food. What is it? Um, I'm I'm like talking like survival. Food? I'm, I'm like 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 I I need to talk. I'm I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to myself as well. Buy some survival food, but. The way I heard it, if that happens, even if you buy your survival food, you won't have enough. So you would have to have like a year's worth. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe a month or two. They say a year's worth. This is scary. Yes. And if NATO is going to tell people to prepare, then tell them what they need. Mm -hmm. Tell them, say you need to have this and this. Everyone needs to have, just like they can tell people, you know, even if you're not using it, get this kind of container, store this in it, store that in it, store this for a family of two or three or four or five or exactly. 10 or 20. Have this amount of stuff on store. You're going to need this amount of water. You go And give people a chance to start collecting this stuff. Because... When the food supply goes, it's anarchy. Yes. We saw that and leave the world oh, behind. Mind. Yes. It's scary. It is scary. And here we have getting back to like some of the celebrity news. Don't we come knocking on my door, busting out windows saying, hey, I know you got food. No, me don't. <laughs> no. And it makes me think about how did Tiffany Haddish make it over there to the Middle East? And if she can, she probably celebrity. She probably can't get out of there. She but, can. Why would she want to go? Well, okay. she says she's going because can't believe the internet. She. This is what I believe. I think Tiffany is in such hot water with America. She's just doing what she do to be relevant. That is my opinion. And on a, on on that side, I will say on this side, good for her. Yeah, good for her. I hope she saw what she I hope she saw what she went to see. Yes, I hope you did. So I you know what? There's no way I'm going to a war torn country that's in war. No way. It just seems silly. However, she shouldn't be drinking here. So there she can drink and party and that's, that's it. right. So right. So that could be good for her. I don't know. I don't know. Tiffany, that to me is a little off the wall, but that's my opinion. I bid her well. Safe travels. What else you got? Yes. Um, what else I have is actually I actually I could tell you what's in my mind. Yes, you think about that while I well, okay. I could tell you what's in mind. You wanna know? Yes, I do. Make me swear, make me water, make me lose my breath, make me hotter. I didn't know she was saying that. She's a freak. <laughs> She's a freak. I didn't know she was saying that. See, that's what I'm saying. You be singing. Baby Cron was singing that song today. And I, we were in the car. You were singing. We were yes. in the car. We were somewhere. You were singing it. Um, yes. This I, was I'm recent. Not, yes, I have been singing it through since the tarot reading. It's been on the oh, head. And okay. Head. And I said, what is she saying? And she would it speak the words. Uh, okay. Make me walk. This is this is the course. Yes, this is the course. Okay. Where everybody's twerking their butt to. Make me sweat. Make me water. Make me lose my breath. Make me hotter. You know what I'm done. <laughs> I now 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 I see why. What's his name? The light skinned brother. Jake. Drake. All over her. With that song and that little jingles, yes, and that little and the war, I, I get it, I get it, I get. She's a pretty girl, 
tiny, but she's pretty. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Take me that girl along. She's yeah. too young for you. She is. You know. But just like we saw um in her music in an in interview, she is focusing more on her career than a relationship. Yeah, I said but your that. hearts right. know this. And like I said, um someone said to me about something, look, I, I don't I don't know about these cultures. When you ask me to read something, I just read it. I don't have time to go and do that's why baby clones sit right there. Yes. And if I need anything. I ask her right on the spot. Mm -hmm. Even now, this is a regular conversation. She's over there. Yes, hey. I don't. I don't know. I I don't follow them like if, like but Janet Jackson. I don't follow Janet anymore. I, but I, I I adore Janet. You understand? I adore her. I, I mean, I I mean, she had a baby at fifty. I mean, I thought that was amazing. Um. She making music. She's still doing clothes. She's still doing shows. She's still doing good. Um, she's fifty. How old is Janet? Janet gotta be fifty five oh, years old. Fifty three. Yes, fifty three. She's between 56. fifty six. She could be. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, I should know her age. Yeah, I should know her age well. But I'm saying she's about there. Yeah, I knew she was about there. She up there, but she looked fabulous. She does. You, you know, that's money. Mm hmm. You know, she looks good. However, she looked, I saw her, she's back to no shrouding of clothing. So that means she done gained some weight. But you know what? That's what I love about Janet. She's always let, been up and down with the scale, with her weight. Okay. It has always been up and down, up and down, up and down. And you know what? She's always tackled it, you know? So, you know, that, that, you know, Janet. So anything else? Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything, anything else, else, any trivial thing we need yes, to I, talk I about. Yes, I want to end it off on something positive and upbeat. So okay. So I do just down. came on here and chit chat because of my coming on here naturally and I didn't know. And it just threw me off. And baby Cole was over there going, <laughs> she knew I must have forgot. Yes, yeah, she you knew. Always it. talk about when you have a new change and you didn't. I was like, oh. No, she didn't. I forgot all about that. I had those bangs in my eyes. You was living loose and free. I was free for the. It was like feeling normal. And a lot of times, baby, come stop me and say, "Mom," I was like, "Oh yeah." But today, it was like normal, and it threw me off. So when we come back, I'll read on her. Oh so, yes, um, mm -hmm. I y'all heard it here first. I I think I want a tear reading on. The singer Tom McDonald. Who is that? The one that has controversial music apparently to the internet that always talks about. I him. like him. I like him. I, would I like, like his messages. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that for since, you. Yep, since we talk about the state of America, and he likes he's to talk on facts. point with it to me. Mm -hmm. And and what I what I like about him, I don't know this man in real life. But his music, I think his music is powerful. Yes. And what I love about it, it cross race. Yeah. It's something we all are dealing with. Mm -hmm. And 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 I can't wait till America begin to see we're all one. Yes. We're in this thing together. And if anything go on, we have to be united. Yes. United, we stand. Remember the United States. United, we stand. Yes. Divided. We fall. Yes, and, we do. And, and and to me, it's like he's screaming to the world, please look, look, look at his uh videos. You might be alarmed by them, but they got a funky beat. Uh, maybe that's too old. They got a groovy beat, or oh, that's even older. <laughs> yes, I was even older. They got a bad beat. How about that? Okay. What would you got a, another one? Sweet. A hot beat. Hot beat, sweet beat. Got a sweet beat to it. I'm trying to be hip. Um, um, what's that album? Uh, what's that song? Uh, when what what the, the little T.I. son? What's his thing? He always say principal. Oh, um, oh I no cap. Yes, no cap. Stand on principle. Yes, sitting on business. Oh, stand on business. This music is on business, standing on business. King, that was King. Cool. stand on business. This is the, I like yes, it. Yes, he does stand on I business. I do, he stand sure. on business for sure. <laughs> so do you want to leave us with something? I think that was the positive message. Oh, or did yeah. you want me to do a reading on him real fast right now? Sure, you can do a reading on him real fast. Okay, right real now. fast. What you want to know, baby crumb? Yes. I want to know 
<clears throat> What's his name? Tom McDonald. Okay. Tom McDonald, my daughter's inquisitive. You have really, well, I talked to Auntie, you. you was coming on late at night. And yes. I was saying, I like this music. What is it? it woke me up. I'm like, you know, you sleeping and you're just laying there. Mm -hmm. And it came on. I was like, oh my God, that's so profound. And I, first night, I didn't say nothing. Second night, like three o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, why do you only show him late? And finally, Baby Cone was up. Yes. And you heard them. Like they came on late, just yes. like I said. Yes. Now it's like they showing it a little bit more. Yeah, the new song he recently released, they did play it during the day. So I guess it's not as controversial. It there. is controversial, but what do you want? It's your read. What do you want him yes, to be? Yes, I would like to know. No, what do you want him to be? Oh. Mm. Just the male? With a male? What do you want? Um, yeah, I think the male card would be great. So I'm trying to think of something to the man. If you see something that come along that you want, okay, compass. Okay, as like a guidance. As a guide. Yes. A compass as to get us on track. On track. But yes. You like that? Yes, I do. You sure? Yes. As to get us on. Okay, he's a compass. If it was time, I would have said he's telling us to wake up. That's yes. that's what you like that? Yes. I okay, do. so here we go. And what is it you want to know? I want to know. I mean, he's already popular, but will he gain more recognition for the truth that he speaks? Or what 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 does what does that mean though? What does that mean? Will people like finally wake oh, up? I didn't mean to do this. Oh no. Okay. Um, I was just wondering, will people finally come to realize like the state of America, like the true state of America and really wanting to change? Like, is he that beacon of voice? Is he like the He Cat is Williams? a beacon, but he is a Cat Williams. He is a Monique in spite of her flaws, in spite of Monique flaws, in spite of their all, all of us have flaws. Um, but let's not drown out their messages right. because they, they all have powerful things to say. This guy has a powerful voice and I'm telling you, he's screaming to the top of your, his lung, not literally, right. but he's screaming and he's in rap and he's dynamic. I give what Candace Owen talked about him. I'm not sure if she, Oh, but what she, well, we're talking about yes. him for now. I'm telling you, I've heard about three of his songs. Mm -hmm. It's all political. That is true. He makes me feel like there is no racism. He makes me feel that this ain't about black and white. It ain't about none of that. It's about waking up and understand what time it is. It's not about you and it's not about me, but it's about our government. And we're in a crisis and we are collapsing. That's what I get out of his music. Wake up yes. for real. And he gives it to you raw. I yes. love it. That's my opinion. Okay, I got to get another card because, oh, no, I'm doing right. I'm mm -hmm. doing right. I'm doing right. Okay, well, here we go. So here's a man. Here's a very strong man. We'd like to call him the sexy man. So we do find him sexy, yeah, though. So he's the sexy man. However, here I see a sexy woman. However, whenever those cards come out, they always come together. They do. Um, and here also... I, I think I'm getting this already is talking. Um, and I get the polar bear. And the polar bear is somebody who loves you and hug you. You know, give me a bear hug. It's about no, it's about protection and guiding and looking out and, and protecting its own. That's what about the polar bear. Also, I see a couple. So I don't know if the fort, is he married? Is he in a relationship? Because before I go on, I want to know if he's in a relationship. However, I see that he's a very wise person, but but he's not alone in his, in this. He has somebody else in this too. He's not alone in his music. So there are other people or there is someone that shares his music or his way of music with him. Is he in a relationship? That's what I'm trying to find. And what's his sign? So as you keep going there, however, like I said, I definitely see that. And I, and I think he's trying to bridge a gap. I really do. I really do. And since I see a mother and I see a male, a female and a child, it makes me think he's trying to reach everybody. Okay. Because it's not often you see the polar bear. No, that is true. The male, the female. 
And the child. And the child. And it seems like it's it's like warning. And then here, you know, we say he's the compass. And oh, check this out. Baby crumb. Yes. And time, like you said earlier. I didn't I, even know that. Right. I do believe he is still married. Okay. Yes, he mm -hmm. is married to somebody named Jessica Lynn, and they have two kids. Well, I see a child, so I know he have children, and they have a very highly sexual relationship, according to the cause. They're very sexual, very passionate. They have a very passionate affair. And um, Oh, and he's a Virgo. He's a Virgo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was born in the house of Virgo, wasn't I, baby girl? Yes, you were. And I fight off a lot of Virgo ways, but I have Virgo ways too because I was born in the house of Virgo. Um, so I like Virgo. So when they read on Virgo, I have to read on me too because a lot of my, that's where I was born. My my roots are not there, but my roots are there because that's I was born in somebody else's house. <laughs> but, you know, but I was born in the house of Virgo. So I know I have a lot of traits of Virgo. Um, so like I said, and I definitely see time and I'm going to give you an overview. Also, you're right, baby Crone, because in the future, I do see blocks. I do see that his music get blocked and um, controversy. However, I'm being honest with this. Oh, this is starting to be scary because baby Crone, we see a bridge to get over. Mm -hmm. We already picked the compass. You see time. Oh, yeah. This man is singing an alarm. It's like he comes. He's like, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. And yet, yes, there is mountain. There is a block. There is a block for this. There is a block. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, there is a block to try to block the music. He has to be careful. Um. But he's sounding an alarm. Can you see it? Yes, I can. He's your friend. He's like, I'm your friend. I'm, I, I'm he's married, you know. Um, mm. mask. I, I, I don't, I don't even know how that fits because I, 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 I'm not going to say he could wear a mask, yeah, fair enough. But the way he looks. It's like morgue, saying morgue wear a mask. I mean, that's a look. That's yeah. the way he wears hair. So that can't be a mask. Okay. Because he can't just go like my wig was a mask. Yeah, that's you know, true, yes. I you he can't go and and you know let his hair grow out and he can, but it would take time. Right. He got tats. I don't think it's a mask. However, but there is a mask that I think that he's saying. For what I'm getting, because if I don't think he's the mask, then what is this talking about? Then it's got to be talking about the whole thing in the United States as a mask. I like that. That's that's what's because when you have his family is here, mm -hmm. and even in present, you see time. Everything he hears a bridge like. Here you see the wise birds, the owls. Owls are wise. They give an information. And I see the information like a bridge to get over. Do something. That that bridges are there for what? To carry you over yes. a, a place you can't get over, right? Mm -hmm. And then you see the child and his presence. So it's very much about his children. And then I see the compass. And then I see time. Then I see a mountain. Then I see man's best friend. Then I see the compass. Then I see... Mm -hmm. the mask. So what am I getting? I have to be, I feel as though so strongly that this guy is legit. He's coming from a real place. I get that. He said, I'm your friend. I'm telling you this is some hard stuff. I think he's blocked. I think it's hard for him to get his music out, but it did get out because it's out. His record went number one and on the billboard. Yes, right. It did. So it, it did. did have so Dave Shapiro on there, which is another it, strong factor. Oh, who is he? Um, he's a commentator, but he's a Jewish commentator. What that got to do with the price of water? Because um, we we don't be mean. We, don't I, say I, something that's going to embarrass me. I was just going to say oh. that. Oh. <laughs> that we know that it's not that, like baby going to be mean, but you know, no, sometimes when they start hemming and hawing, you better don't don't. Okay, go ahead. It's just at least we know that Jews run Hollywood, so <laughs> no. I I'm gonna be uh, okay. I don't really like getting into stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I hate it. 
I don't like this divide and conquer. I don't like it. I don't like the Jews did this and the white people do this. Now, when I'm talking about the them girls, Politi oh, okay. but when I'm in politics, I don't want to get into all that. Baby Cohen wants to go there. I don't. So you go and you get all the flack on your own. Leave me the hell out of it. Okay, go ahead. Because I always try to muzzle her about it because I don't want to do it. And I'm being honest. I don't want it because I don't want nobody to say, oh, you only for the Jews. Exactly. Then I don't want to hear, you only for the Palestinians. I get that enough. If I say anything about Trump, good. You for Trump. So much so that if I was for Trump, I wouldn't say anything. If I was for the Palestinians, can't say anything, so I don't like being put in it like that. I hope you guys understand. Speak mm -hmm. your peace, but I'm not gonna muzzle you no more. I will pull back to this video. So don't they, me, no, what they call me, Lady Crow. It ain't me. <laughs> She's a grown woman. She's grown. Go ahead, speak your peace, sis. All I was just saying was I was just gonna say that could be another little factor that helped him get to the Who? top. Tom Holland, not Tom Holland, wrong Tom. Tom McDonald. What about him? Going number one with that song. Because he's Jewish? No, not then him. What you, how did the Jews get into this? Dave Shapiro, which was featured on there because... Oh, okay, gotcha. Yes, mm. because I feel like that was another thing that helped him get... I mean, we know he's popular. Of course. No, we don't because I don't know who he is. Okay. Until now, I, I don't know who he is, but go ahead. Right. But the fact that he's gaining popularity, I feel like that a voice does need to come out and speak. Yeah, because truth. I do see that his voice was not alone in yes. this. So I however he gets to the top to get that message out, I'm for it. I'm for it too. I'm for it too. So what about the Jews in the Hollywood? You scare me, babe. What about no. Jews? And you know no, they run Hollywood. Just got the power to get the song to number one. That's that's all I had to imply. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna ease up. I just don't want no controversy about politics. You can we can controverse on a whole lot of things, just not politics and religion. Yes, those are the two things what I've learned in life. I wash my about. hands with it. Let me get a tissue. I wash my hands with that. And for no. some reason, why? Okay, we're just gonna leave the war alone. So I was gonna like, no, say, briefly, go ahead. Why? Why do we have to get war, and politics, and religion all mumbled up together? Because that's what it's a lot about, mm. especially in the Middle East. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else it is. I, 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 I I'm just sad. I know, I know, I know, and um, it's sad. And I yeah, we just need peace on earth. Period. Period. Peace in your home. Peace in your life. Peace in your affairs. Peace on the job. Yes. When you walk down the street, you just got peace oozing from you. You got peace coming from your body like oil. You got like peace that. that if you saw somebody in a struggle, you just give it and they like this and all of a sudden they just got peace. We need peace, but ain't no peace coming. Not peace. If you want peace, you're going to have to find it within yourself. Okay. I like because that. if you think you're going to find it on this earth, keep dreaming. Okay. Because what I've learned Sometimes I see things or hear things and it's not like I got it all right. And it's not like I have all the answers, but this is a, let me give you an example. Okay. It's going to come to me, but I have an issue with people talking negatively about religion, any religion. I don't care what it is, Christianity, Judaism, you name it. I don't care. Uh, uh, Islam. I don't care. Why are you bashing another person's belief? Because you don't believe in that. Fair enough. I have an issue with that. Yes. Leave it alone. Respect other people's faith. That's all we need. Do, what, that, that, it, it, you don't have to believe. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Like, I know that there is come. It's not about a belief. I, for me, it's I know it exists. Because I'm a living testimony. Why? Because I have a story. I just haven't told my story. So I have a story. So I know that I know that I know it's real. I can't prove it. But it's real for me.
And it's real for anybody who know me and heard my story, especially yes. my family. It's real. I've been here before. And it would be no way I could have known those things when I known those things as little as I was. But my family just didn't know how to handle it. They just I creeped them out. They didn't know. It's funny, but it, it isn't. Is, it was just I was terrorized as a kid. Wow. And it hindered me. You just have to think about how media continues to be saturated with yeah. horror movies and making it corny and make you not. And that's okay. That's oh, that's okay. But you got to be able to eat the meat and spit out the bones. My thing is, don't go judging. Even when it comes down to witchcraft or mm -hmm. Balfour Matt, we just go over without studying yes without searching without looking oh it's black magic without even knowing what it is that's my issue that is if you want to because once you know or we were talking about kanye when i when i had this okay because of his behavior his dressing his wife like that that's their prerogative however a man of god would not do that would we agree? Yes, we would. From where agree. I was raised. Mm -hmm. And because of my morals, forget God, but my morality says, this is not good. Would you walk around the earth like that if you wasn't with Kanye? That's a good question. Would you go to a club like that? Would you go to a bar like that? Especially with the last episode, No Panties. So you were showing everything. And I, I'm not judging. Yeah, no judge. I feel as though we should wear what we want to wear, mm -hmm. but the world ain't there yet. No. I feel as though you should be able to wear what you want to wear. Who cares? Even though people are copping off of the trend, though. Right. But she went full throttle. Okay. So she she got a fine and almost got arrested, but she got a fine for that. So um, So my thing is... And it is fitting when you look at the comparison. She's fully exposed... And most of the time, he's completely covered. But that's that's the that's for me. That is the art of it: naked and clothed. Duality. Duality. Okay. That that makes sense to it me. Makes sense. Now. It's the everything is duality. Okay. It's about the it's a, and this is how I know because he always mute himself. What do you mean? He always make himself look like a shadow. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? He's always in black, and when he shrouds himself. When he go full throttle, yes. he's in black. He's that shadow. He's within himself. He's the mummy, you know, and he lets her shine. And a lot of people says, how can Kanye do this? Kanye don't have those kind of morals. Kanye like whores. I'm not talking about a whore sexually. I'm talking about, to me, we will call a whore somebody who would dress like that. Yes. That is true. That would even tempt the man on that level. That is very That true. is tempting. That is yes. an abomination. But Kanye don't know these things. But his gospel music is divine. And so he can't be a, 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 a demon and spew that. Why? Because Satan, can't, his, the kingdom would be divided. Satan would kill him if it was such a thing. Why are you singing to the most high God? That's true. That's true. What, what, have you lost your mind? You're bringing people to God. Are you kidding me? That's just like baby Chrome go and start talking about me to another woman and call her mommy. Mm -hmm. You done lost your mind. I sure would have. Now, that not only will I get jealous, I would get downright indignant. So think about this. You can't sing music like that, mm -hmm. write music, produce music, and and not have that in your heart. It don't work that way. No, no, it don't. Trust and believe. It don't work that way. So I know he have a form of godliness, but he doesn't have word. He doesn't have enough word to understand that this, you're talking against yourself. Okay. But- He's a contradiction. When I see Kanye now, I see one thing, and that is the big question mark. Who are you now? Who are you now? And it's nothing wrong with that because I know even if he's artistic, some are saying, I know that he is brilliant 
and the arts. Yes, I don't know about his sure. reading and writing and math and English. I don't know about all that. But as far as his creativity, yes. say what you want to say. He's a genius. Yes. And another thing about him, he's able to wait things out. Yes, he can wait things out too to see it grow. I saw how everybody was on it, but I already saw. I said, "This man gonna do something." I said, "This is this is crazy." I said, "This is so crazy." I said, "But it is kind of hot because if I was young and I could wear, I would have." I mean, because she wasn't. I mean, she's gone a little bit. Yeah, she inched she, her way up. She she now she's gone full throttle. So that's it. So you know, this is about to be put to bed soon. Yeah, because it was a, it was a, it's a, it's like the moon is going through all the, it's going through all the, the phases, right? So this thing going full throttle, that's probably him. He gonna have to bring it in. Can't keep doing this for another two years. Exactly. He, we're gonna be like, boo, that's old. We're gonna be like, Kanye, you need to get something new. Mm -hmm. He knows that. Yeah. So, and and I and you know how I know he's changing because her hair is going back to dark. That is true. Her hair is getting a little longer. You see it? Yes, I do see mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So it's coming. Yes. Can't keep that. That was a moment. It was. And, it, and the world called Beyonce, all I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Kiki did it with um, Usher at the show. Yes. So it's working. So we got all that. So this here, this is it. What did I give you a reading? Yes, you did. Your overall reading is this. This man is really screaming a message to the world. He is heartfelt about it. And here, this is a dog. This is man's best friend. And he's saying, I'm coming to you as a friend. And the government wear many masks. He's saying, wake up. These are all the things that have to do with time. Time. And there is going to be something that's coming along that's going to be a big block. A big block. I don't know if it's a block for him or I don't know if it's a block for the world. I'm not sure, but this is this man is really um really is a preacher of the world in a sense he is a messiah because a messiah comes to save and they come to tell you the truth. That's what messiahs do. I liken to think that baby Cron and I are messiahs. You too may be a messiah if you speak truth and to wake the people up to the best of your ability. Well, here I see this. Now I can deal with these because you can tell them baby crumb. Okay. Tell them what. They, they like, this is the time. Yes, time compass and. And then here we got. The bridge. The bridge, like to get out, mm -hmm. get over. And then we have the mask. And then of all that we have, I'm your friend. You said that very nicely. You like that? Yeah. That's it. This is what that man is. <laughs> I hope you can see it. That's what it's all about. Yes. And you know what? I think I'm ready. Yeah. I think I could read on Janet now. Okay. Yeah. I had to the take theme some of our, time. Yeah. The theme of our video was truly just talking about what is going on in America. What is going on? Period. We done talked about America, my hair, <laughs> who we ain't talking school, high school. Yes, school's doing good. I'm learning. Yes, I'm, I'm learning about waves. Now, this is something that's very interesting. Okay, Apparently, everything. First off, I'm in. First, I'm trying to teach myself outside of school about frequencies because I've been watching the solar cycle and the sun being extremely active at the moment. Mm. And whenever it sends out a solar flare, they talk about frequencies and how the earth vibrates at a certain certain frequency and it's called the Schumann resonance. And that's ah, what, the Schumann resonance. What is that? The Schumann resonance is about the three. Don't you hate it when people get a little educated? They just throw words out and say, oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah. But it's the three frequencies of the earth. They have the fundamental frequency, which is the one that I studied a little bit about the most. I forget what the other two frequencies were. Mm -hmm. But the fundamental frequency vibrates the earth and also the human body. Mm -hmm. So therefore, whenever the sun makes a very powerful flare and it hits the earth, these powerful energies can get embedded into the crust of the earth. And therefore, we can feel it through our body because the human body is connected to the earth. What do we feel? We literally don't feel anything, but energy. You just said we could feel. What are we supposed to be feeling? Energy? Yes, energy. So what, what are you feeling, though, for real? What are we feeling? What are we supposed to feel? We're supposed to feel? Well, whatever the sun is going through, we'll be feeling it. So 
basically as the sun is going through a very solar um, transformation because it's apparently peaking. It's going through now? Yes, it's reaching its peak. It was supposed to reach its Why? peak. Because it's something that the sun goes through every 11 years. It oh. reaches a minimum. So it's a lot of things going into the sun. Well, it would seem like if, the, if, 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 if we in a new um, age. H, yes. And uh, yeah, it would seem that that would be fitting mm -hmm. that that would happen at this time. See, there's no mistake. No, there is and not. I, and, and it's another thing. You get people say, I don't believe in astrology. I don't believe in numerology. I don't believe in tarot cards. I don't believe. I don't believe. It's like. That's it. That's uh, you yeah. know. I just can't believe like the like I don't believe in karma. I don't. I don't believe like I, I just you don't. What do you believe in? No, that's true. Outside of you, outside of yourself, because you should believe in yourself. Outside of you, where do you go when you reach the wall? Where do you go? Where do where do you go? I, I don't believe in talking to my ancestors. They did. It's always a negative. But where do you go when you don't have nobody and you need to vent? Yes. You need answers. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? Do you go to a bottle? Do you go to a joint? Do you go have sex? Do you go to food? Am I missing something? Do you go walk about? Do you go fighting? Mm -hmm. What do you do? See, when you have faith, it's bigger than you. And faith gives you hope. And the wonderful thing about faith, if you believe, because what faith does, faith teaches you to believe in you. And if you truly believe, it's amazing. Because what you believe, you will materialize. Yes, that is definitely true. Because a little bit about physics going back to frequency. Okay, babe, come on, go ahead. Yes. So I was on point. Yes, you were. Okay, I'm I felt that for my soul, baby. I was right here. Go ahead, yes. babe, come Because I'm learning that everything is frequencies from mm -hmm. music to everything. How notes vibrate. And how also, your body operates. I'm sorry, yes. babe, come on. There is a scientific study that was just um, discovered last year, I believe, about how your cells and your body literally have a specific frequency they vibrate at so therefore if frequencies are hitting the earth you have your own frequency and then you have frequencies interfering with you that can change the structure all of your DNA. day long yes i cannot that's say something this 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 may be petty but we can make it close out yes that's what baby crumb is learning okay the physicist this is what i've learned like you know, when you're looking at a room, right? Mm -hmm. And it just look normal. The moment the sun shine through, yes. all you see is thousands and thousands and thousands and th uncountable, yes. tiny microscopic dust, yes. germs, mm -hmm. auras, yes, literally, mm -hmm. auras. auras. All, all of this is happening right now. And I said to baby Crone, we're breathing it in all the time. And you know what I've learned? For me, the earth is a dusty place. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I learned. Yeah. It's in your house. You don't believe me? Turn on the light or let the sun and you'll just see float. Yes. Or you shake a shirt. It can come from the cleaners. Yes. And you'll see. Give me that. that one. Hit a shoe. Yes. I realized. The earth is a dusty place. And if you could see what's in the air, if you could see what's crawling yeah. on your skin, if mm -hmm. you could see what's in your food, if you could see it, you would shriek in heart. You would. Word, right? Yes, word. That's why we can't see with that. We, we are limited. Yes. But yet it's right there before us. Mm -hmm. And some of us are blessed to see while some of us are not. Yes. And some of us don't want to. Yeah, that's right? also an option. So what do you have to say now, baby? Because we've been talking for an hour. Yes, we have. I hope this was just chit-chat. Yes. I went to talk read on Janet, but it got lost. So what did you think about the guy? What do you think? He's he's really, all I'm saying about that on a real tip, this guy, what's his name? Tom McDonald. He's speaking out a message. Please listen to his music. Please. You may like it. You may not like it. You may say it's too hardcore. You may say, I don't like the sound. 
get over all of that and just listen to his message. Yes. And when you do, just write baby Crone or I and tell us what you think. And maybe we could talk about it. Yes. I think it's profound. And I think we live in a time where we need to wake up. Yes. And I think that we need to also remember we're not exempt from being exploded. I mean, being blown up. We're not exempt from somebody dropping a bomb over here. Mm -hmm. We're not exempt from being like they are in Palestine. We're not exempt. No, we're not. And I don't care what they say, how powerful we are. What we're not exempt. Huh? I was saying and what goes up comes down. And when America fall, I hope I'm not here. And if I am, I hope I'm here in another body and that I'm a rich bitch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> amen to that. <laughs> so I can get the hell out. <laughs> So anyway, I'm sorry. I hope bitch ain't a bad word. No. But that's my only word I use every now and then. Mm -hmm. I said a few cuss words today, not to baby Cone. I was talking to somebody about the politics oh, and they made me so bad. I just was like, I'm not. Don't make me choose. Yes. I don't want to be a part. I don't that's what agree. They want you to do. Pick a side. You don't have to pick. But that you better. <laughs> I mean, I'm terrorized. I'm terrorized. And I'm like, even if I wanted Trump, do you think I would feel, I would be scared to stand in line? Oh, that woman over there going for Trump. That's how I feel. Now, it may not be like that for you, but for me and where I am, mm -hmm. it's like that. Yes. So it's be frightening. Be careful these days. Be careful. So with that being said, we good? Yes, we are. We thank you for joining us. We really, really do. This was just what a chit chat. Yes, a chit chat. Not no recap, not no, just nothing. This nope. was a fluke because I was going to read about Janet, Janet Jackson. Jackson and Baby Cone let me know I came out here without my wig and it just threw me off. My brain went, Choo! it went flatline. And I just couldn't get it together from that. So I hope you enjoyed this little chit chat. That's all yes. it is. But what else is there? I'm getting ready to read on Janet. So I thank you for joining us this evening. This thing is pulling the back of my head. See, I ain't used to it. I'm used to it. You see me going like, because this, 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 what is it? Hair? No, that zipper, oh, the zipper is pulling on my hair. So with that being said, I thank you for joining us. I know we were really like down to earth today. Yes, we really, really, were. really down to earth. I hope you can forgive our faults and look at everything and judge for yourself. It's just good. It's just good. <laughs> Remember, we live in the we live in the age of Aquarius, yes. and you know what? Everything is being revealed, yes, the even the real me. How about that? Yeah. And with that being said, you ready, baby? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Sunflowers. Yes, and one more thing that Baby Crow wanted to sum up right before we close call, out. Yeah. Yes, close out for yeah. the day. Well, for this video, mm -hmm. um, is that really in the end that what we were trying to say? Yes, to sum her up, how to be aware of yourself and your surroundings by being in tune to what you listen to, what you surround yourself with, because of the frequency. Yes, because of frequencies and how things. It's there to trip you up. Yes, music has certain frequencies that mm -hmm. are, especially if it's produced by the, anyway, certain frequencies that are supposed to make you vibrate at a lower frequency when you're like trying to elevate yourself. So like that twerk music, like like those twerk girls yes. that, that, that they be like um, macaroni in a pot yes. mm -hmm. or um, the cobra. Mm -hmm. And you got to understand one day all of that is going to be Exactly. Think That's about it. Do you really think element. when they are like in their fifties, they're going to want to sing that? No. Think about it. Right, but just be mindful. It's good dance music. So oh, yes, oh yeah, it's no, good it's... for partying. Oh yes, exactly. but that's the frequency. That's the frequency they to want keep you, you down, to keep you sleep, distracted, so you don't know what that what's his name, Tom McDonald, is talking about. Yeah, you don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything when you're being made love to, whatever mm -hmm. that is, whatever that sweet thing is. Whenever you're being made love to, whether it's a chocolate yeah. bar or whether it's love, sex, whether it is. Uh, going to dinner, whatever, being on a plane, traveling, Watching whatever TV. that thing that makes you feel loved. Yes. That is a frequency that resonates with you and specifically you. So therefore, if anything comes in and interferes with that, 
you know that's not a frequency of you because it's disturbing you and remember be careful of what frequency you allow yourself to stay in yes it's okay to visit and chill and party but come out and yes. keep yourself abreast to what's going on in the world around, around you. you now we could say what sunflowers, sunflowers.